Sports. Today we're in Puerto Vallarta and we're going to watch some dolphins with Eduardo and Wildlife Connection. Uh, he's a business manager and he's going to explain what he usually does during the over 15 years, I think, of work he's had or more. So Eduardo, what do you do over here? Well, what we do is uh, we're working with dolphins. Basically, Wildlife Connection was uh, programs with whales and dolphins and now we have the opportunity to share that with the tourism through those tours one is the, the dolphins in the wild tour and the idea is to go and find the dolphins in the ocean and swim with them over there uh, what should we expect to find well we always guarantee to find dolphins and I think that we're the only company in the world we can guarantee 100% that we're gonna see dolphins of course what they can do uh, it's all the story, it like, depends on them all the time. As I tell the tourists all the time, I'm not in charge of the tour in this company, in this tour in particular, the dolphin tour. The dolphins are in charge. But that's the difference between us and the dolphinarium. Because in dolphinariums, trainers are whistle and they do, but in here, all I can do is to find the dolphins to give you directions to do it in the right way. When you jump in the water with them to be safe, you and them. But whether I can do, well, depends on the dolphins all the time. And a few minutes ago, you were telling me of a few dangers that most people don't know about. And it's because of that that we should actually, us and nobody should touch the dolphins. Well, yes, we don't uh, give the opportunity to touch them. First, because they're not pets, those are wild dolphins. And, and two things could happen if you touch them. One, they can just move away, and we don't want that because we want to swim with them. Or the second one, they can decide to play with you, and sometimes when they play, they can push you, and with the force these animals have, they can break your ribs very easily. Yeah? We don't touch them. Other thing is, they can have some diseases, and uh, if they have it, you can get it, because they're mammals just like us, and that's why we don't touch them. But other thing very important to take on mind is to respect the nature. I don't know, this is going to sound a little bit cruel, but you remember Steve Irwin. Mm -hmm. Steve Irwin he was touching everything in the world. Everything. Cockerels, dolphins, whatever. Now he's dead. It was not a good idea to do that on the wild. We have to respect the nature, enjoy it, and not be afraid of that, but respect it. That's the idea. And finally, how far up into the ocean do you think you'll find them? How deep? Or... Well, our research. Uh, give us the opportunity to know about the distribution of the dolphins on the bay. And we know at least we have three groups of dolphins living permanently on the bay, those are residents. We're working basically with one of the groups, and the territory of that group, they're around 40 miles of shoreline. We don't go very far on a, a very deep ocean. We don't go to open waters. We're still all the time inside the bay. But uh, depends on them where, where they are. They can be very close to here, the Marina Vallarta just a few minutes or it's going to take us more than an hour if they're at the end of the territory. Okay, well thank you very much. We'll be off soon. Okay. <laughs>
Eventually, I succeeded, and despite the great show, I was not able to film it because the water was not transparent enough. The tour lasts about 3 hours, and I have to say that time did go by pretty fast. During the filming of this show we lost one of the cameras because water entered the case. But still, not only were we able to film the dolphins, but the incredible views of Bahia de Banderas in Puerto Vallarta, a medium-sized town in Mexico's Pacific coast. Well, the tour is over now. This has been a fantastic experience. I mean, we've had the bottlenose dolphins about, what, less than a feet away. And we've certainly enjoyed our time. So thank you, Eduardo, very much. Splendid tour. Waiting for everybody to yeah. show them the same. Highly recommended. It's been a one in a lifetime experience. And thanks to Tessa. He's a captain back there, too. Until next time, happy travels. Thank you.